My name's Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm going to teach you how to ollie, ollie while moving, ollie while riding, ollie off a curb, ollie up a curb, pretty much every variation of the ollie you can think of. Why is that, Aaron? Well, good question. So welcome to week number four of the boot camp. I hope the boot camp is getting you ripped and ready to rock on your skateboard. So in week one, we covered all of the riding basics. In week two, we covered the tricks easier than the ollie. Week three, we covered the shove it. And after that, you're really getting into the steepness here. Now we're going straight into the ollie. The ollie is the most basic of all skateboard tricks. If you really think about this, kick flip, heel flip, front side 180, back side 180, almost all of the future tricks from here forward are some variation of the movement that you are going to learn and do on the ollie. So getting this one down and mastered is really, 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 really important. And again, I'm going to reiterate, make sure that every time you're going out and practicing, you're doing some of the elements from week one and week two, and especially week three. So every time you skate, get out there, ride your board, ride it around, do a couple cavemen, do a couple popcorn, do for sure a couple shove and then add to your repertoire the ollie. So that's the next one that I'm gonna teach you right here, right now. Let's go, I hope you're enjoying the boot camp so far, week four, let's get right into it. So your front foot is right here, that's the foot position, just down from those upper bolts, and it's pretty straight on the board, and your back foot is with the ball of your foot, the toe on the tip of that tail. So that is a very specific because when you drag your front foot up, it has to be in a very specific set motion. It has to be in a very specific set spot so that you can drag it up comfortably and make that ollie occur. So that's the foot position. Now we're going to get into practice step number one. Okay, so with your feet in that foot position, take your back foot on the tail and drop it down and just tap the tail. You learned this earlier in learning how to do the basic standing stop, I think it was called. But now, you're just gonna stand still and you're just gonna hit that tail on the ground. Repeat that as many times as possible. 10 times, 15 times, 20 times, 20 minutes, 20 hours. Do it as many times as you need to get really, really comfortable. Again, make sure you got your helmet on, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, everything you need. Bend that front knee, drop your back foot down, and you can use your ankle very key, very specific set motion. Drop it, snap, snap, snap. That's the practice step. Now, the next practice step, this one is the vital, most important practice step of the ollie because this is the make break. And whenever I see people sending in the skate sport videos and they're like, I've been trying to ollie for so long and I can't, it's always this second practice step that's out. Almost every single time, 9.9 .9 out of 10 times. So put your foot on there and turn it 90 degrees. The sole of your foot turns 90 degrees and then you drag up the board. And then you're just going to repeat that 10 times, 15 times, 20 minutes, repeat it. This one is very, very, very important. So you can actually have your foot there, turn it, drag it up, and then even from there you can push it forward. Your more advanced ollie is pop, drag up, which raises the board in the air, and then forward, which levels it out in the air. So on this practice step number two, you can drag up and forward, up and forward, up and forward. But the main thing I want you to understand is which part of your shoe is dragging on the grip tape. And yes, you should be wearing a hole in your shoe. If you're not wearing a hole in your shoe, you're doing something wrong. So continue that drag motion. Build that muscle memory. So, so, so important. And if at any point in the ollie you start to have trouble, you simply need to go back and practice this practice step. Good, so that's practice step number two. Let's get into practice step number three. So practice step number three looks like this. We're putting these together, and I'm gonna have you count it out. I've been doing this with a lot of new skaters, and it seems to work really well. One, two. So practice step number three is really into the timing of it. One, two. If you don't wait, because once I say, well, just do an ollie, it often goes like this. And you try to do one and two at the same time, but I want you to really separate it out. One, 
two, repeat it. One, two, good, do that step 10 times. One, two. Now that you've got that step down, we're gonna put it all together and the timing is extremely important. So you're gonna pop, then drag, and then your front foot is gonna push forward, your back foot is going to rise up into the air, and your board is going to go up into the air. You have to remember to lift your back foot up. It's a vital key component that you didn't really get to practice in the earlier practice steps. So pop, drag, and then raise. But it is timed out like that. One, two, three. And then your board is in the air, and then you just simply land. So that's the trick. One, two, three. Once you get an ollie, and I do wanna point out that if you can film yourself in slow motion, that helps a lot because you can sort of see the steps and you can see the, the motions and then you can compare it to this video and watch it back. But if you get all four of these wheels off the ground, that's an ollie. It doesn't have to look like this or it doesn't have to be like this huge jump. Just get those four wheels above the ground and that's an ollie. Even if it looks like, you know, just like pop, boom, you ollied. And once you ollie, Please get excited, please get ecstatic. You know, post the video, post the photo, post it on the Braille app and run this because that means that you guys are progressing and that is very, very, very well done. And if you're progressing and you're posting videos on your social media, you never know who's gonna see that. You can tell people, hey, I started skateboarding and I learned how to ollie and it completely changed my life. My job went better, my marriage went better, everything in my life improved because I learned how to ollie. Okay, maybe I took that like one step too far or maybe it wasn't even far enough. So the next step after you've gotten that ollie down is to do the ollie while moving. Aaron, maybe that should have been a whole separate video next week. Yeah, you're right. Maybe all of these should have been a whole separate video, but I wanted to just encapsulate the ollie and everything about it into one monster, massive, incredible video. So earlier in week one, you practice all of the 10 parts of riding. That means turning, stopping, rolling. And if you've been doing that every day, and then you learn how to do the ollie stationary, now you already are really good at riding because you've been practicing it every day. Now all you do is add in the step of ollie. So now you're riding and then you ollie. So the key thing that I've seen where people have a really hard time with this is that they learn a bunch of tricks stationary, but they never really learn to ride their board. That's very, very important. And learning to ride the board is the most basic rock bottom fundamental. Because you watch these skaters, you see them out there and they're doing these tricks. Well, what's the most basic fundamental of everything? They're riding, turning, moving their board. They're in control of it because they've spent years and years and years just riding. You're not just riding like they were doing tricks too, but imagine the ratio of how many times they were riding compared to tricks in the last 10 years of skating. Most of it was just riding. Good, so that's pretty much what there is to riding. Just take it very slow and then do the ollie exactly the same as you would if you were standing still. Then a little faster, then a little faster. Work on this every single day until you get more and more comfortable and that is your ollie while riding. Great, the next step of this incredible ollie colossus of a video is ollie over an object. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna find any object, a very small one. In fact, you're gonna start out with just a crack. Find a crack and just ride and just ollie over that crack. Keep it nice and simple. You already learned how to ollie while moving. Now, just add in the crack. So the only thing I really have to add into this is the point of timing and where your eyes are looking. So as you're rolling up to the obstacle, have your eyes on the object, the crack, whatever it is, the entire time. And then make sure that you ollie with a good amount of time before it. So you wanna really have enough time to pop your board, drag your front foot up, get it into the air, and your speed has to be sufficient so that depending on your ollie height, you make it over that object and land on the other side. So make sure that that is key and it's a very, very important part just make sure you're watching the crack. Start with a crack because that way, if you don't make it over, and then nothing happens. And then you get it over the crack, all the way over that crack, let's say five times. Okay, you're right, you're right. 10 times, 10 times. And then, you know, when I very first learned how to ollie, I, I did a hose, but you can use a broom handle, 
you could put down a shoe. A shoe might be a little bit too big. But put down some small object and then roll towards it. Keep your eye on that object. Get a decent amount of speed, not too fast, not too slow. Pop it, drag that front foot up, and just sail that board right over it into the sunset. Beautiful Ollie, land on the other side, and be very, very stoked that you, yes you, ollied over your first object. And then post that clip on the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter too. Next step we got for you is ollieing off a curb. So now you got your ollies on stationary, you got them moving, you got them over an object. Now you're gonna basically pretend as though the end of that curb is the object. And you've already learned in the earlier week, it was week number two. You learned how to ride off a curb. So get on that curb, ride off five times, and then go to the top, and then ride towards the edge. Keep your eyes focused on the edge of that curb, and then just give it the littlest ollie, tiny little pop off that curb, just the littlest one, and then go a little higher, a little higher, until you're like, boom, I could ollie off the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Maybe that's too much, but maybe it's not. So that's all there is to it, really. You see how we're building it up on a very slow, nice, easy gradient? You're like, Aaron, there's not much more to ollieing off a curb than ollieing over a stick. Well, you're right. And again, that's the point. Welcome to the boot camp. You guys are crushing it and killing it out there. Okay, so the next step after ollieing off a curb, you got it, is ollieing up a curb. I wanted to really encompass both ollieing off and up a curb and ollieing over objects because if you got all of these down, you can ride around, you can cruise, you can ollie up curbs, you can ollie off curbs. You have really all of the essentials it takes to just ride everywhere on your skateboard. And there's no obstacle at this point that should stop you or thwart your progress or make you have to jump off your board. And that is really, really, really exciting. So the steps of ollieing up a curb are very similar to ollieing over an object. You ride up to it with a good amount of speed have your eyes focus on the edge of that curb the whole time, and then pop up just enough to land and go. Before you even start with your full blown ollie up the curb, you can kind of ride up and sort of teeter totter your wheels up. Also, find a small curb because not all curbs are the same. You know, some curbs are pretty small and then other ones can be pretty high. So give yourself the easiest possible curb you can think of and go find something that's nice and small. Ride up, teeter-totter your wheels up there, and then just go for broke. Figure out how much speed you need, which you probably already know because you all over the crack and the stick or the hose or whatever it was, and then go pop it up, make sure you get the height, and then land on top of that curb. It's really not more difficult than that. It can seem scary. It can be a mental battle. But if you have your helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, whatever kind of safety gear you have, then you can focus on learning the trick and not focus on, am I going to body this? Um, one thing I will point out that can go wrong is you can have the curb here, you can pop and not have enough speed, and then your back wheels will hit the curb, and then you will fall forward. So be careful for that, watch out for that. You might even wanna go really slow and ollie up into that position on the board just to see what that feels like and then step off and then repeat it as many times as necessary in order for you to get the full board up and over that curb and on top of the curb and then you're rolling. So I know we have covered a lot. Week one was a lot of things. It was 10 different tricks. Week two was also 10 different tricks. And then week three, you got the shove it. Now week four, we taught you the ollie, which is a big jump. From the shove it to the ollie is a big jump. And not only was it just the ollie, but I also threw in ollie while moving, ollie over an object, ollie down a curb, ollie up a curb. So spend as much time as you need on these steps. We will see you next Tuesday for week number five. Every Tuesday we'll have a new tutorial video and we'll be rolling this out. I hope you guys are having an absolute blast learning how to ride a skateboard. If you need extra help, join Braille Army Plus. We're building a whole community there of skateboarders who are helping each other, being positive, helping other people learn. And you can ask me for advice direct on the members only Discord and I will see you there. And we are there to help you, yes you, learn all of these tricks. So if you need any extra additional help, 
join the community on Braille Army Plus. We got you. And again, have a blast learning how to ride your skateboard. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next Tuesday with another episode of Boot Camp. Check out all those videos right there. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below, and you, yes you, learn to ride a skateboard. We have everything you need at BrailleSkateboarding.com.